On a sad note, 22 soldiers would have been killed for inside Niger State has been led to rest in Abuja. Michael Arat with Father Grit and from the site today. Anyway, today being the 25th of August 2023, the Nigeria Armed Forces on Friday will be today don't bury the remaining of the military personnel that were killed in an ambush for Zungeru General Area of Niger State. Why seven day wounded in action? The burial ceremony being take place for the National Military Cemetery for inside Abuja and it was witnessed by the rank and file of the Nigeria Army Forces with family members and friends. Sahara reports been reported on Monday, August 14, 2023, say not less than 23 personnel of the Nigeria Army being died following an ambush on the military co uh, convo by gunmen where they suspect to be terrorists, where they live for inside Niger State. And the Director of uh, Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, Nine gave a breakdown of the incident to journalists about how this waka waka had been firstly continue and they said during the ambush seven soldiers were wounded and still according to Intori, I said a deadly ambush led to the deployment of the military aircraft where crashed for the state in which 14 soldiers where they don't first die before and they were killed before say they had been there inside seven wounded soldiers two pilots and two crew members Tori Bisti talks say the troops enter into ambush for the general rural local government area of Niger State. The ambush led to firefights, which actually result to the death of three officers and the 22 soldiers, while seven were wounded in action. Now they have been led to rest, and according to report, the funeral began with the arrival of the Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawale, at around 9:46 uh, a.m. And also in attendance you were the Chief of Defence Staff, Major General Christopher Gwambi, Musa and other service chiefs. So, may the soul of the departed rest in peace. Amen. We know so when it comes to this kind of work, they already put time for the for instance to writing, they already sign say their life now for the people. They already sign say to for them to wear that uniform, they don't wear to actually give up their life for the country. Now so it just be. And uh, we know some of everybody they actually feel uh, like them or agree make their children enter into military. But the ones who they get mind to let that people enter, whenever things like this happen, so they always expect and say it will happen. But even at that, nobody they pray make their loved ones fall into victims for all this kind of death matter. But as it be say it don't happen like this now, so may the soul of the departed rest in peace. And we also pray for the families who they live behind. May God forgive them the fortitude to bear this kind of loss. Because even as CB, even when they know so they are picking, don't sign up for this kind of thing. We know see it's not still easy to bear because some of those people now will die and people part. All of them are personal in bond them. Some of them are parents. Some of them are brothers and uh, to, to, to people. Some na uncle, some na niece, uh, nephew, have been a niece, which one they call them English too hard. So all joined together. As it just be now, we know say the families their day into mourning. And for the fact say it don't happen like this, we just pray say we government go actually give all those military people the go ahead, the right materials, the right equipment to use fight this insecurity where they consign bandits. Because nobody today bandit train matter don't start for inside we country. And you know, be like say it gets better. It even look like say the thing they worst every day by day. Waiting our government they do concerning all this insecurity where they happen for inside the country. If they feel they kill military personnel like this, imagine what did they do to normal human being when no when no get power, when no get gun or anything to feed defend himself. Just imagine. So anyway, on top of the country for right now, just where they happen, the 22 soldiers that were killed in Niger State has been laid to rest in Abuja. We pray make their soul rest in peace. Yes, sir. Yes, my people. Finally, Bola Ahmed Tinubu don't respond to Atiku petition for U.S. Chicago courts concerning the case where Atiku carry go. Say make Chicago State University give them all the documents, all the Tinubu records for the school. Listen to the way Tinubu they talk. The same method, the same technicalities. It be like saying Tinubu thing say U.S. courts not the same thing with Nigerian court. No wonder Chicago State University wash their hand, come up for the matter, abandon them for the case. May go defend itself. Listen to waiting Tinubu, they talk for court there. Sometimes I go they ask questions, say, it's a shame. Now some lawyers not get I've been waiting. Listen to what they talk there. Tinubu's arguments in the US District Court against Atiku's petition for his educational records. Number one, 
Tinubu argues that though Atiku's application fulfills one of three jurisdictional issues, but it did not fulfill two others. 1A. That the discovery of educational documents is not for use in the pending electoral pre uh, proceedings. In this place, Tinubu argues that in the electoral petition before the presidential election petition tribunal, Atiku did not raise his educational background in the initial petition, even though he tendered evidence, called witnesses, and made arguments in his final written addresses to the effect. Now, 1B, that Atiku is not an interested party in all that proceedings. Here, Tinubu argues that Atiku is not a party to the Enahoro case, being that it was Enahoro who started the discovery of Tinubu's educational records. Number two, Tinubu argues that himself and Atiku are parties in an election suit and should be a reason not to grant his application that the Supreme Court has cautioned about it. Number three, Tinubu also argues that Atiku cannot use the documents if given since evidence at the tribunal closed since July 29, 2023. So there is no indication that the Nigerian court will receive additional evidence. Number four, finally, Tinubu argues that Atiku's application is unduly intrusive or contains burdensome requests that the numerous documents listed by Atiku are beyond broad and are burdensome and the disposition subpoena is a fishing expedition and to satisfy curiosity. Tinubu listed cases to support his argument. He concludes that the application should be denied since Chicago State University have clearly and conclusively established that Bola A. Tinubu graduated from Chicago State University in June 1979. Hmm. Apart from the fact that this lawyer that wrote this thing deserve a dirty slap, or this lawyer that um, made this argument deserve a very, very hot dirty slap for speaking like like that is this is a clear search for technicalities loopholes on how to escape because they know that they are guilty they are hiding something apart from that you can't come out and be saying that article abaka is not an interested party to that what nonsense what temerity do you have to say that they are even saying the election petition tribunal will no longer need it so why are you asking for it for what 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 what, what is that I don't understand. So you're telling me that the sitting president of the greatest black nation on earth will have a document somewhere that is his academic records. The one he has told us, this is where I studied. Why you are asked, where did you study? And then you have to put the name of the school and put the year you graduated. It's for any further investigation that needs to be made about you. So that people will, they won't have to go and start going all round, 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 round. They go straight and say, okay, somebody like this said he graduated from, from your school. So, so yeah, is, is that correct? Can we get the documents to prove this? That is exactly why all these things are provided. That's why, why I ain't a cast. It's not like anybody can come out and say, oh, I graduated from uh, Unilag. And he never went there. So what stops? I, I can even go and download uh, the, the, uh, the, this thing. So why was everybody dragging me summer at, 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 after all? So you begin to see that these lawyers, they are just looking for easy route out of this case. They are looking for escape route. And as I say, some lawyers deserve a dirty slap. Even as a, as, a, as a citizen of Nigeria, I deserve to go to the Chicago State University and say, I need this, the record of my president. I want to see them. 